Hi, this is Paint with Girls Gone Right, and we have a really spicy topic today. Porn is literally your brain. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button below. And if you want to go above and beyond, there is a Patreon link in the description. You are literally creating new neurochemical pathways in your brain by consuming all of this dopamine everywhere. And the dopamine is not just coming from porn. It's coming from social media. It's coming from following these IG hoes, if you will, the OnlyFans girls on Instagram. It's coming from anything that is spiking your dopamine that you are seeing on your feed. It can also be shopping. It can be gambling. It could be hookup culture. There's so many toxic things in the porn industry, you know, sex workers, the child pornography. There are so many different angles that we can hit, but today we are just going to be discussing the dopamine part of it. And another time we can go even deeper, but this is something that I specifically want to hit on today because dopamine, we are in a dopamine chasing culture. Everyone is chasing that high. It's the instant gratification, the validation that is so easily accessible. We have it at our fingertips and people are just chasing it. People want it all the time because it feels good and we don't have self-control. We don't have morals and values. It ties us down. That's why morals and values and going to church and being in a religion and having something that brings you down is so important that act not brings you down, but grounds you is so important. And we are missing that. We are in living in a secularist individualist culture and that just forms to hedonism because when you do things that are just self-serving and feeling good for you all the time, feeling good does not mean it is good for you. Those two things are not intertwined. Just because something feels good doesn't mean that it is good. And this is an important thing to remember because that's what we're chasing nowadays. What is going to give me that instant dopamine hit? Is it going to be following someone on Instagram that's barely wearing any clothes and doesn't promote morals and values, but it's making, it's making your brain feel some type of way. So we're gonna hit that follow button. And every day when we're scrolling down that feed, we see a post and there goes our dopamine spike. And I think it's actually really insightful to see who someone follows on Instagram. This is an Instagram reel that I saw and it was basically a tip saying, go look at who someone follows. It says a lot about the person. So if you go, if you're, you've been dating this guy, you go to his profile and he's following a lot of random girls that just have a lot of pictures and bikinis. They're, it's a lot of almost nudity. That's a red flag. Why is someone following so much content that is graphic? Why is that necessary to consume on your daily feed? And that could be a telltale sign that someone is addicted to this type of dopamine. I actually came across this clip uh, called Desexualizing Your Brain is a cheat code to success. So let's take a look at this. It has never been harder to win than right now. Why? Because every single day, you are frying your brain. You are killing your attention span and you are killing your focus. You're killing your testosterone. And because of all of that, you are killing your success. The average person has a worse attention span than a goldfish, and that's who you're competing against. So on the good news, that means that just with the tiniest bit of discipline and work ethic, you are already ahead of 90% of people. The first step is to stop watching porn. First and foremost, you need to stop watching porn. Now, listen, this may sound obvious, yet 99% of young people simply cannot stop. I would say that watching porn is by far the worst way which you sexualize your brain. And let me explain to you why. You see, the problem isn't just the amount of time that you spend watching porn. I mean, sure, if you stopped, you'd have an extra hour per week or something like that, but that's just a very minuscule side effect compared to the rest. You see, porn literally fries your brain and robs you of focus. Don't believe me? Just look at the science. There have been multiple studies that link porn usage to the erosion of your prefrontal cortex. You know, that part of your brain that regulates your emotions, your actions, and more importantly, your impulse control and willpower. But that is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a laundry list of negative side effects that have been linked to porn use. Why? Because porn use has similar effects on the brain 
as substance abuse. Porn has been linked to issues like decreased focus and increased anxiety and depression. Now, as if these problems weren't big enough, porn has also been linked to trouble in long-term relationships and of course, impotency. In fact, there is an epidemic of young men who are experiencing sexual issues like erectile dysfunction because their brain has been rewired. It's unfortunate because these young men have consumed so much porn that their neural pathways have literally changed. I'm this episode is sponsored by Shoot270 Indoor Ranges at the Glock Store. Before I left Nashville, I had a chance to stop by their indoor range and guys, this is like something I have never seen before. Their private shooting rooms let you shoot at multiple targets in multiple directions, just like you might have to in a real life situation. You can draw from concealment holsters, which I do typically when training, and you can also use lasers, flashlights, and a low light setting and shoot from cover or on the move. You can shoot with full auto or with a suppressor, something that you can never do in a normal lane range. And let's be honest, shooting lanes are boring. This is real life training. So basically, if you wanna train like your life depends on it, go check out the Shoot 270 indoor ranges at the Glock store in Nashville. So bring your friends, family, coworker, or maybe even a hinge date. It's a ton of fun and I can't wait to visit the next time I'm back in Nashville. So in 2006, granted that timestamp is not updated, but this was a very interesting statistic that I wanted to share with you. So in 2006, World pornography revenue was $97 billion, more than Microsoft, Google, Amazon, eBay, Yahoo, Apple, and Netflix combined in 2006. Imagine what that's like now when OnlyFans is extremely accessible. So imagine what these numbers look like now. So what happens to your brain when you watch porn? Your brain releases a chemical called dopamine. Dopamine is a feel-good chemical, bliss, euphoria, as you make this act consistent, you will need more and more dopamine to feel that same high, similar to drug use. Hence, this is how addictions form. At some point, this won't be enough to feel that dopamine high. So this is just from porn, but think of any other type of addiction, cocaine, other drugs. You do that drug one time, you create that dopamine hit, and then every single time, this is what happens with drug addicts, fentanyl, cocaine, you're not going to feel that same exact high that you did the first time from that same amount of drugs. So you have to keep taking a little more and more every time to get back to that same feeling that you once were. And eventually it's not going to be enough. Oxytocin is released during sex for women. This is also called the love hormone. This chemical helps create a bond and attachment. So this is an extremely intelligent chemical in your brain, right? This is not just a coincidence that your brain is putting off this chemical that makes you want to be monogamous because that is what that attachment theory is, right? That your brain is releasing this. It is called pair bonding. And I've talked about this before, but your brain is actually trying to, it, it releases the chemical to pair bond with someone. So then you create an attachment. So this is something with hookup culture, right? That people say that they hook up and they say that they don't feel anything, which is just interesting because your brain actually releases oxytocin so that you do feel something that you do feel bonded to that person, that you do have a connection with someone, you are tied to someone essentially. But if you're not feeling that, it's not that you're not feeling it, it's that you are suppressing it or that you have changed the neurochemical pathways in your brain because you've done it so many times, which is also really, really bad. If your brain's not working the way that it's supposed to, you basically screwed your brain up because you participated in hookup culture so many times that the chemicals that are supposed to be being released during sex are being suppressed and they're not working properly. That way, when you actually meet someone that you do wanna feel something with and that you are using sex to actually strengthen and further your relationship, that's not going to happen. So men actually have a similar chemical called vasopressin and it's also linked to monogamy. So it's a very similar chemical, but it works a little differently because this oxytocin in women is released during sex, but it's also released during childbirth and breastfeeding. So therefore supporting the statement that is actually used for creating a bond and attachment. Addiction is linked to uh, damage in your frontal lobe, also known as a system called the breaking system. Loss to this system is, to, is seen to be an effect from trauma that can be seen in MR scans. This is also called hypofrontal syndrome. The key elements include impulsivity, compulsivity, emotional liability, and impaired judgment. This can be seen with any addiction from cocaine to obesity. This is not just for porn addiction. This is for any type of addiction. So this could be shopping. This could be drugs. This could be hookup culture. You are chasing something and you are addicted to it. 
and it makes you even more impulsive. You see people with porn addictions that are doing things very out of character to get that dopamine hit, to get that high. They're watching porn at work. It's actually destroying their lives, their day-to-day -day lives. They can't live a normal life because of their addiction, because of their dependence on dopamine. They cannot get away from it. So therefore, it's making them impulsive. Their brain is just trying to see where they can get that hit of dopamine as quick as they can. That's why people on drugs, when one drug stops working, they will switch to something else that gives them that instant hit of dopamine. And it's not just drugs, that's the thing, is that it's porn. And when porn isn't enough, then what's going to be enough? What is the next step? It's a severe cycle. In 2007, a VBM study out of Germany looked specifically at pedophilia and demonstrated almost identical finding to cocaine, methamphetamine, and obesity studies. It concludes for the first time that a sexual compulsion can cause physical anatomic change in the brain, the hallmark of brain addiction. This is not just relevant to porn. This is anything that you are seeking dopamine from. Hookup culture, shopping, posting on social media, it's the same addictive effect. Obesity actually is a type of addiction, right? Because you are addicted to eating food. You are chasing that similar type of dopamine because you're, you're surpassing your hunger at some point. You are just eating to eat to feel good. So obesity, you are addicted to food and it lights up the same things in your brain as it does if you have a cocaine addiction. They have brain scans that actually will show this, I've seen it scrolling on social media before, but it actually does lay out that it triggers the same thing in your frontal lobe in your brain. The issue with porn is that it is tied closely to morality. We tie sex to monogamy. Oxytocin creates pair bonding, showing human intelligence, showing that we are designed to be monogamous creatures. Marriage, family, the whole thing, it goes above and beyond just survival. When you tie an act that is essential to human survival to such value, such as eating, to being healthy, you must create boundaries so you separate it from being animalistic. We are not wild animals, we are intelligent. We are monogamous creatures that desire to pair bond. So look at these whopping statistics. 86% of college males watch porn. 31% of college females watch porn. Adolescents who consumed violent pornography were six times more likely to be sexually aggressive compared to those who viewed non-violent porn or no pornography. Students have found that frequent porn users are more likely to suffer from depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues compared to those who do not watch porn. So here are some of the negative effects of rewiring your brain. As you watch porn, you are rewiring your brain to respond sexually to images. You will be bound to the image, not the person. You create attachment issues. You are emotionally bonding with an artificial world. This is not real. What you're watching is not real. This is a made up scenario. These are paid actors. These are sex workers. And you are emotionally connecting yourself to all of that, not what's in the real world. Watching porn reduces satisfaction in relationships. It teaches violent behaviors. It desensitizes your brain, triggers your addiction cycle. Again, this is actually, porn is addictive because you are seeking dopamine from it. That is what creates an addiction. The problem is you are desensitizing your brain to these things that are very sexual things in nature. Seeing naked women is sexual. You can't say that it's not. I know the feminist movement tells you that you shouldn't be sexualizing the body, but it is extremely natural for you to look at someone of the opposite sex and naturally think that your body is in, in some sexual way. You're going to be attracted to them because that is just the chemicals in your brain and that is completely normal. But the lie that you are being sold is the free the nipple movement that women's anatomy should not be sexualized when indeed that is just a natural thing. It's natural for us to want to procreate and be attracted to the opposite sex. It is so easy to fall into the loop of dopamine chasing. And like I said, it's not just porn that people are addicted to. There are so many other ways that you can find a hit of dopamine. And I think we're all guilty of it. What do you consume on a daily basis? It doesn't have to be social media. It could be maybe you're addicted to watching Netflix. Maybe you are addicted to being a couch potato. Whatever that hit of dopamine that you're chasing, maybe it's video games, whatever makes you <laughs> have that hit of dopamine, that can form an addiction. And we're all guilty of it. I feel like my, if you look at my screen time, some weeks it's super high and maybe I got addicted to whatever I was scrolling on, whatever came across my algorithm that day. And I love online shopping, right? That is, can, can be an addiction. If you are constantly seeking that dopamine hit and you are doing it all of the time and you're doing it so much that you're not even conscious of how much you're looking at it or doing it, 
that is an addiction. Porn is really weird because you're just watching someone else do the deed. Porn is horrible for you. It lowers your testosterone. It decreases your focus. It decreases your chance of being able to pair bond with someone. And there are just so many negative side effects and it rewires your brain. It rewires the way that you think about women. All in all, that is just my short TED talk on the dopamine behind porn and what it is doing to your brain. There are so many negative side effects to porn besides that, but the addiction part, the dopamine part, and what it's doing to your prefrontal cortex has severe damage that people don't understand in the moment. And it actually does have the same effect on your prefrontal cortex as getting in a severe traumatic accident or using cocaine and having a cocaine addiction. There are so many things. And if you want me to talk about anything specifically, let me know in the comments. If you wanna get notified next time there is a video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button below and thank you guys for watching the most fun right.